Come here, you. Yes, you're it. Oh, God. You got, oh, there's a spider web in your mouth. Is there a spider in your mouth as well? No spiders getting in <laughs> into this video. I need to update. What? Oh, really? Look, we've got to update the game. This is classed as an adventure game. It's as much as an adventure game as watering plants is. Now we're going to open. You ready? You're going to see you. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, it's you! <laughs> so hello everybody, welcome! Are we gonna win Brachiosaurus? We're already winners here, because we've got them. But are we really gonna win Brachiosaurus? Yeah! Look, that's you! That's you, yes! You can look over there, look! That's you! I think this is the way we do it. Oh, we need to pose for the thumbnail. <gasps> so we did it! We have the Brachiosaurus! This little guy, I said little, you're pretty huge. The most anticipated dinosaur, if I think, ever in Jurassic World, the game. Uh, at the start, we thought it was going to be there. We did think you were going to be there. Act surprised. Or, you know, reenact what happened in Fallen Kingdom. You know, whatever. You're going to fall off again, aren't you? I placed you back here and you're going to fall off again. I know you are! I was more scared that a spider was going to jump out and go, ah! <laughs> Destroyed his web. I might have even crushed him when he closed him out, so. Hey, oh, we don't have poisonous spiders here, so who really cares? No! Oh, we have it, Brachiosaurus! And why? We've already, I've already wasted too much of your time anyway, so why not open it? What do we get? Ooh, 1,500 bucks! It's going to go straight towards unlocking it because it's going to cost thousands of bucks to speed it up in the hatchery. So it's gonna be like 3,000, I think. I want to get it maxed. I want to get maxed, but don't know. Don't know if I'm gonna have enough books, even with all of that. Oh, there it is, Brachiosaurus. And I did face a level 41 of these in the tournament. Um, but really, that's another thing we want. Oh, 2,000. Ooh, they fixed, like they've done some changes with the UI in this game. I don't know. Jurassic World, the game, is surprising me. Left, right, and center. There's all these nice little fixes that make it look nicer and plays better. And it's just not pay to win. <laughs> like Jurassic World Alive. So here we go. Bragastagosaurus. <gasps> Ooh, guaranteed giant. I think they had another picture of it. Damn, I didn't get to take that picture of it. So grab this special pack for a guaranteed... Oh, no, of course. Of course. So if you didn't manage to get it, because it was pretty tough. Ooh, I like that angle. <gasps> Oh, if only you could have multiple battles. That's what we need, like, multiple dinosaurs in a battle. That'd be so cool. Please, Lydia, do that. That'd be... Look at that. That would look so awesome. That looks so cool. Oh, dear. So what else have we got in these uh, updates? Yes, I did collect the Segna Sutures pack. So, there's a mistaken update in Jurassic World, the game, which is if you complete an event, you exit out the game, you enter it again, the event's appears and i don't know why obviously it's not supposed to be like that are we not look at that it's not even changing oh so they stopped the fuchu fuchu oh that's nice oh my god each just little fixes like that they've really nah also link in the description below we still got the jurassic world the game promotional codes however um i think jurassic world alive is is going to stop um, so, or at least they haven't given me any more, and this would be the week where it'd be like, okay, here's a new batch of codes, and they didn't send me. Never mind, they sent me a code anyway. We're all good. <laughs> uh, we have all this. I do actually have a new building. Did I cover it in the last episode? Oh, <gasps> it takes multiple days to come back. Oh, I was hoping to use that today. Does it take a week? Seven days. Oh. Oh my god, I didn't realize it was that long. Uh, I deliberately didn't use it last night because I was like, ooh, I'll just wait. I'll wait. Um, oh, I'm wondering if that means it resets this. So, finish Dominator League and enter the Dominator League. So that's 40 extra Monolophosaurus DNA, which we've... <laughs> look at all that. And we're, we're going to slowly, slowly get to Interrupted Gen 2. 10%. Oh, 10% off in the market. That's good. They know that, you know, Brachiosaurus has just came out. So therefore... People are gonna want to buy it. So 10% off. Nice. I mean, it gets people to spend their DNA, but it also helps out, you know, the players. Because just when a new dinosaur comes out, you're gonna want to probably max it. Right, so is there any good trades? Oh, 46 DNA for a, a like a limited edition Alpha 06 Halloween trophy. Yes, please. <laughs>
<laughs> load of rubbish. And like, I'm gonna spend 11,000 bucks on a Proceratosaurus. I mean, to be fair, right, Proceratosaurus is one of those dinosaurs that I think costs 50,000 um, VIP points. So it depends how you see it. Because if we look in here, is it in here? Proceratosaurus? It is. So it is a it is a really hard one to come by, but I think I'm okay. I'm, I'm fine. I'll pass. I'm not too, I'm all right. But um, I don't think I have any custom trades to do because I, I look like when we jump and bounce up and down. Um, ooh, 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 uh, wildlife preservation, which I think was a WWF pack exclusive for a million food. Hell yeah, I'll do that. I'll take it. Don't care about that thing. Load of rubbish. Not going to use it because we got all of this. Uh, so we have a lot of coin. Mm, not really much to spend on. But here we go. Let's hatch a Brachiosaurus. Now, we have 15,000 bucks. Um, are we going to be able to get a level 40 Brachiosaurus? We need to speed it up eight times. We're going to hatch it eight times. And that's not even including the bucks it's going to cost to uh, fuse it. So let's go. Let's go into, well, go the other way. So, ooh, look at all this 10% off. Ooh, ooh, you saved so much. 5,000 for a second of Suchis. Ooh, ooh, look at it all. However, there it is, Bragasaurus. So, let's compare it to Segnosaurus. Now, Segnosaurus, I kept it called Segnosaurus, my bad, um, was a, I mean, it's most, mostly attack. So, it has 1,000 attack. Uh, so, the difference being, for 200 extra attack, you lose 900 health. But a Bragasaur gains 900 health, but you lose 200 attack. Um, it doesn't, I mean, if it's ever an issue, if you ever think about it, it doesn't collect coin as well. But do you really care? No. <laughs> so here we go. We'll hatch it. Uh, so it's 8,000. 8,000 bucks to speed up eight of them. Well, let's say it's, you know, you. oh, God, it's really going to be close, guys. This might drain all my bucks because it's basically 2,000. It's basically 2,000. Um, I mean, we're getting eight of them. We're going to save almost 1,000 bucks. Uh, so if it was 2,000, it'd be 16,000. So we're going to be left with probably 1,000 and odd bucks when we, we speed all this up. But we're going to... By George, we're going to do it. <gasps> Here it is. Ooh. Okay. Interesting sound. I'm just wondering if... Like, hold on. We need we need to look at it. Oh, it's going to be on Isla Sauna. There you go. We saved it. It's off Isla Nubla. I've saved it. I've reversed the effects of Fallen Kingdom. So let me just listen to the sound effects for a second. Look at that. Look at that camera angle. The fisheye lens. Oh, it's so cool. I don't hear any Brachiosaurus sound effects, though. Oh. Oh, he's so high. <laughs> Good little throw. Now, this... The thing is, right... With Jurassic World the game, the larger the actual models are, the larger file space it takes up. And it got to, like, at one point it's beyond a joke, because this is an app game, it took so much space. So obviously what they've done is the Brachiosaur is probably the same size as a regular dinosaur, but they've done a fisheye lens zoom to make it look even bigger. Oh no, maybe. Let's have a look. Oh, that's the petting animation. Look at it. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> you know what? I'm happy with that. They could have made Brachiosaurus the Diplodocus uh, animation set. I think, is that the only one that there is for sauropods? Diplodocus? I think there's like that that long long neck one. More more horizontal than vertical. But I like this. I like that they, you know, they spent extra time to do this. Oh, is that the annoyed? None of these are Jurassic Park sound effects. Like, ooh, that one. It's not, not none of those. That's, that's straight. Okay, so let's see the feeding animation. Here she comes. Think of it as a giant cow. Oh, it blinked. <gasps> oh, we got facial animations. My god, Luddy, I've went above and beyond. I mean, usually with dinosaurs, all you need to do is just move the jaw. That's all you need to do. But that had like a blink and a reaction. That was cool. I like it. 801 health and 250 attack. It's not really a health tank. I've got to admit. You, like, no, normally sauropods are. Ooh, that's strange. Okay, well, anyway, we need to now hatch a... Okay, so I didn't even think about the DNA cost, but we can... We got loads. We can sell them, dear. We don't need them. Chuck them out. Add them to the pile of DNA. Smush them up. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Let's, let's hatch and buy as many as we can. I think we might run out of DNA before we're going to run out of... Uh, books. I could be wrong, though. I might have miscalculated a fair amount. So that's four. 
already halfway there. Already halfway there. Um, oh god, okay, so here, here's another one. Oh, look at those bugs go down. Oh no. Five. Six. Oh. <laughs> I might have to go in my own videos. <laughs> And just collect DNA. Oh my god. Use the little referral code. <laughs> I might have to. Oh lord. Here we go. I'm so... I'm not spending any more gosh darn money on this game. Oh, there we go. So we got 2,000. Okay, 2,000 bucks. I mean, in normal circumstances, you do not have to spend any more bucks. That's it. You've got it level 40. It's just a waiting game. You're only spending DNA. Uh, so here we go. Let's make them all to level 10. Oh, we did a mission as well. Hopefully that mission will give us books. That's another thing. We could do the books missions. Oh, oh, look at it. In the test tube. Oh, it looks so cool. So 70 and 47. Okay, it's not too bad. But I was really hoping to use the VIP hatchery thing. It's a darn shame that it, t it takes a week. Lydia, fix that. Do it's great to have instant, like, yeah, I made it, but do not make it a week. Come on, make it a day. At least. Get, like, then it's like, you need VIP. You need it, because you get this amazing incubator. Bloody hell. Well, that scared the life out of us. <laughs> it's like, what's outside my window? It's the, uh, it's the window cleaner. <laughs> But because I'm like on the top floor, it's just a brush. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, is there a bird trying to get in the house? Oh, it's got one of those brushes where the water comes out of it. Yay. Hey, is, is that it? Is that all he does? I'm firing that bugger. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. So level 11. Ooh, a thousand health. So let's have a look. What does it look like? Ooh, pretty, pretty. But let's make another level. And hopefully we get better this time. Just straight away, done. Ah, I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to get a level 40 Brachus Stachosaurus. Come on, come on. We can do it. We can do it. Uh, we'll feed some more. We've got plenty of food. Food I don't think we need to worry about, which is kind of interesting when you think about how much food a Brachus would actually eat. Damn, okay. It depends how much the level 40 is. That's what I was hoping to use it for. And that's what it's made for. Okay, that's good. Oh, look at his help. <laughs> He's coming around in the incubator. <laughs> I look great. Uh, and so we got, we can make a level 30 and a level 10 and a level 20. So we get to see at least three of them. And then we just get to see, ooh, level 21. That looks cool. I have faced a level 40, so I think I know what it looks like. I think I think it stays to... Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, really? Well, it was 47. How much is it now? 80. Okay, yeah, there we go. There we go. We're going to do it. Hot oh, damn. I, I did Fidelity for like three months, I think I did. And, and if I hadn't have done the Fidelity for three months, I wouldn't have been able to do this because I got so much bucks from that. So there it is, level 30. Look at it. Oh, I like it. it has a sniff. It bites and it blinks. It's finally in the game. The Tiger Stripe Brachus Stachosaurus. Oh, look at that. The camera angle is so cool. I love this. I mean, I'm. Oh, God, the camera's messed up. I'm, I'm actually scrolling the, the opposite way, but okay, fair enough. You don't. You know, there's a lot of things you don't get to see because you usually see it from down there. And you think, oh, that 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 makes sense. But as soon as you go up, it's like, oh, the trees end there. And there's nothing outside the park. <laughs> I'm sure they thought about that. But anyway, here we go. Ooh, there. That's a break. Now we need that. We need that break for the level 40 because it's going to cost a load of books. Come on, can we get it for the level 30 as well? Oh, we do. Oh, we're going to get the triple. Is it going to be a hat trick? Come on, come on, here we go, here we go. How much food? I don't know how much food this is costing. Here we are. Level 40 Brachiosaurus. Come on, it's 120. We need it. We need it this time. Come on. Ah, damn. Damn, damn, damn. We're gonna do it. I think it'll probably take... It could take a thousand bucks. 1,200. I think you probably get 10 tries. Or oh, we could do it second time. Second time's the charm. Here you go. Collect. <gasps> yes. It's heads like a shark fin, though. I mean, Ludia's sticking to their guns and making everything pointy and spiky. So at level 40, 
2,959 health and 925 attack, which we already kind of saw when I looked at it in the trade market, but it's different when we have it. And it's like, yes. So, to get it from, I mean, if you don't have it at all, you've just unlocked it, to get it maxed up, it costs like 50,000 DNA and I think 15,000 bucks ish about there, but we've done it. So let's have a look. Brachiosaurus's front legs are longer than its hind legs, and its name means arm lizard. Uh, collect the wrong one. The long neck of the Brachiosaurus contains a system of large air sacs that may have helped and improve breathing efficiencies. Uh, okay. So there's 100 bucks, so we're getting something back. Like most sauropods, Brachiosaurus is very social and thrives in herds. Is that scientifically accurate? I mean, you don't technically have to be, right? Because we can just say it's Brachiosaurus from Jurassic Park. But anyway, and the final one, another 100 bucks and some VIP points. Uh, this massive creature can grow up to 50 feet tall and was once thought to be the largest of di- the, Yeah, the largest of, di of all dinosaurs, but of dinosaurs. Size is the only defense it needs. Hmm. Well, we'll see. Oh, we'll have different attacking animations as well. Oh, that'll be so cool. Okay, so let's collect those. Now, I'm wondering if these reset. If we logged in and logged out, can we get the... So we got two out of nine, right? Um, let's do the battle for the food. So let's do this battle. What we'll do is this battle. And then... Um, I think we just do that one, can't we? Yeah. The only thing is, I don't have guaranteed victories with this. So I could, I could attempt it loads of times. But is it going to be worth it? I mean, you get VIP points and you... I guess you get food? But... I don't think it would be worth doing this one over and over again. And it's interesting because the glitch that's in the game at the moment, which means, you you know, you can do events over and over again, isn't that great? Because if you... Even the normal events, if you can manage to, you know, do all of them in it, you know, that are there, that's a good day. If, the fact that you could probably do them twice in a day probably means that you've got, like, loads of good creatures and you, you probably hack, I'd, I'd assume. <laughs> so, so far, Lydia, I threw you the gauntlet. I threw you the gauntlet and that was that there is plenty of YouTubers out there that hack this game, yet you still have not banned them from the game. So, that statement that you put out saying that if you hack the game, you will be banned is either hypocrisy or a blatant lie. Um, so... Kinda of looks embarrassing for you, Ludia. Just saying. Are you gonna are you gonna ban those people, those YouTubers, or not? You know what I mean. <laughs> I have been your loyal follower <laughs> and supporter since day one, and yet you you don't you don't give me anything extra. They're allowed to hack the game and get everything. I have to spend real money on the game. I support it, but no. No, they, 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 they can do whatever they want. Mm. 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 <laughs> you know, I might stop, I might stop covering this game if you're not careful. If you're going to keep this blatant hypocrisy going. I will. I will put my foot down and be like, nah, not covering any more games from Ludia. If you don't. <laughs> it's catch 22, really, because I don't want for those other YouTubers to not be able to cover the game. Like, I don't want that. But all at the same time, I don't want, you know, if, if Ludi have said hacking the game's illegal, or, you know, it's, it's not gonna be tolerated anymore, then they probably should be banned. So, it wasn't my fault. They said it. <laughs> right, ooh, the food pack. So here we go. Some extra food, I mean, really, it's it's 260 VIP points, which is pretty decent. But the food is, eh, food's not that great. Really, it's packs like Bronze Reward that you could probably farm loads and get, like, the pack over and over. And, you know, that's it, really. Because the, 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 the species of dinosaurs that you face or the types of dinosaurs aren't too crazy. It's still three battles of this. And especially since I've done the tournament, I've used all of the things that would be pretty decent. So, and also, last night, I spent about three or four hours just doing the tournament. Because if you remember, last time there was a tournament creature or a tournament that came out, um, I, I actually had a regular, I went to bed regular time. And in the morning, I was like, ah, I've got plenty of time. And I did two hours straight. I think it, I, I, the video was really long. I did a really long video on it. Just constantly doing the tournament. I was like, I don't have enough time. Don't have enough time. So last night, I sacrificed sleep. Went to bed at like half three. And uh, I, I just did this while watching uh, YouTube videos. And um, 
Uh, it paid off because we got Brachiosaurus. I wasn't going to miss out on that. Definitely not. So what we need to do. So we collect. We collect these. So already three out of 50 missions for this that we've done, right? And for the daily missions, two out of nine. Now what we're going to do. We're going to see if this is still a glitch. We're going to log out. We're going to log back in. Now I think the thing was... I don't know whether they, they said hacking of the game would, wouldn't be tolerated or exploits. Now, this technically is an exploit because what, what you want is to never, like, do you want to just keep our, our, our devices open and for us to burn out the batteries and for the iPhones especially to explode? Because uh, they will. <laughs> they will be like mad. Uh, so this isn't really an exploit. It's like, well, I just closed the game and reopened it. That was it. There's no exploit there. So, oh, they fixed it. Oh, so that must have been in the update. Okay, never mind. That's fine. That's okay. That's okay. So, yep, 209 and... Wait, what? Wait, what? Did they not fix it for the missions? Oh, the... oh it was probably because those missions are gone now, isn't it? So, let's have a look. Like, finish in... Yeah, okay, so those missions are gone. So, yes, it's completely fixed, which is a shame, but... Even when it was a glitch, you couldn't really use it to your advantage, like, at all. Um, so, I'm not too fussed about that. But we need to see Brachiosaurus in action. So, only- oh, only carnivores. Well, maybe we'll have only a herbivores. It's a Caprasuchus pack. What does it give you? 200 guaranteed books and 1,000 DNA. Okay, that's pretty decent. And there was a level cap increase. So, we can do a level cap battle. So only carnivores, you say? Only carnivores? How about a carnoraptor? I love how Ludian know that people are waiting for Brachiosaurus. So much so that the loading screen and splash screen now is a Brachiosaurus. <laughs> like what? Apart from like a T-Rex or Indominus Rex or like a new hybrid. What gets its own splash screen? Or like, you know, like the Mammoth when it came out, because it was a whole... Like, it wasn't just the Mammoth, it was a Cenozoic update that had like a smile on and everything. What dinosaur has just had a dedicated splash screen? And, you know, for its release, apart from, you know, Indominus. Just a regular, I guess it is a tournament, but still. A Brachiosaur having its own splash screen, that's, that's dedication. I like that, I like that. And also, if you're looking for tips, Ludia, or Jurassic World, Oh, oh god. Is, is the audio breaking there? I hope, hopefully it didn't break for you. Change the battle arenas. Oh my god, I'm sick of facing up against the same visitor center backdrop all the time. I get it. I get it. It's nice that if you do PvP, then, you know, you're in a... You, it, could be, it could be the Senna's Oak one, or, it, you know, if they use Senna's Oak creatures. Or it's the, um, it's the outside. The, the waterfall, the helipad, the broken fences, the electricity. It's gorgeous. This is boring. I hate it. Like when it first came out, I was like, oh, this is cool. And it's dark for a start. It's everything's tinged a weird purpley color. And I see it all the time because I do the battle events because you need to. And I, I, PVP has changed. Hold on. If we go into PVP. Uh, so you've got the prize tiers now. This is a new update. Um, so depending on what you have. So PVP reward tiers are decided by the ferocity of your most fierce creature. Uh, reach a higher reward tier by bringing stronger creatures. So, um, oh god, what's this? Is a how to play segment? Oh my god, this is cool! I never knew about this. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's nice. How to play. Well, anyway, so here's here's the prizes, right? So, for the regular, you want to be the highest, right? You want that. It doesn't say what creatures you need, but these are what's up for grabs. Less than 1% for the packs, of course. And then less than 1% for a legendary. So we've got to presume that for a pack, it's like 0.00001% or something ridiculous. If even all the legendaries are less than 1%, and including the Blum and Res. And including and the... Oh, yeah, so it's, it's ridiculous. Anyway, actually, hold on. There was resources there, so we must have been at the end. Were we at the end? So yeah, 29, 29, tw oh god, so you've already, that's what, 58%? 60, 70, 80, it's like 90% resources, and then less than 1% for any creatures. Right, so that seems fine, right? So to get the best things, you need to be at the end. However, interesting thing, if you go into the boosted... It's just micro SDNA. Now, you might be thinking, hmm, micro SDNA. What are the chances? What's the difference, right, between getting the lowest 
and the highest. So 5% chance to get the micro SDNA. And in here is 40, 20, 20, and the final one's 40. Compare this to the highest being a this 5%. That's the same. And if we go inside it, what are the prizes? 40, 20, 20, 40. So if you are going to do the PvP, and, you know, if you just want uh, SDNA, just do the boosted. Just use really low level creatures and have like a really good boost on them. On one of them anyway. So, hey ho. I think the same kind of applies. Yeah, the same applies for the boosted aquatic. Uh, but the regular aquatic is like a regular. So, if you do want to go that route, there is that. Ooh, hold on. I need to collect some food because we need it. I think we lost 10 million on that. So, three carnivores. Not so hard at all. Uh, one, two, three. You've got T-Rex, Pritrode, and a unicorn wizard. Ah, there's a lot of update. It keeps on updating this game. I thought, you know, because I'm not... I mean, I play Jurassic World Alive. Shall I play right now? And just face up... Should we do like, here on the screen? <laughs> on the screen? On the screen is Jurassic World Alive. Um, but no, I'm not covering it because it became a complete pay to win. It's not happening. And the update still has yet to come out. It's going to be a big update, though. It's definitely going to change the meta of Jurassic World Alive. I might cover it. Um... But I don't know. It, like, the thing with Jurassic World Alive was that it became very samey. So, especially for videos. If you're playing it, like, it's fine to play. But to make content on it, I was like, ah, I do battles. And then, like, I say what's coming up next week. And that's about it. And then I vent about how annoyed I am with the battles. So, however, there was one change I noticed. Or at least it was probably in the game for a while. I just never noticed it. Uh, <laughs> great. Good beaver. Never noticed the good things. Um, was that if, you know, like me, if you just do the battles to get incubators, um, you if, if you time out, you do face up. You can have an option to fight against the AI, which in turn means that you can just win the incubators by facing the PCs. Uh, and I didn't know about that, so that's good. But how I, I really feel that they just need to add that as just generally in the game. So an op, op, opt-in. So if you do want to face up against people and, you know, increase your cup rank, go for it. However, if all you want to do is help out your alliance by doing battles and then getting incubators, again, helping out your alliance, um, that should be an option. Really think they should do that. It's my open letter because I would love to just spend a day. That would be a video, actually. Spend an entire day playing Jurassic World Alive, or at least like five hours, and just rattle through all of my books, uh, opening as many incubators as I can, getting DNA, and getting mods, or boosts, sorry. And that's what I would do. I'd that, because I've got 9,000 books in that game that I just want to, I just want to do battles and open the incubators. That's all I want to do. And that's the best way to make the books work for you. Like, the option is there, and I get why Ludia put in the pay, like, oh, there's a buying option. I get it. I, I get it. But it's it's no excuse <laughs> to have it so blatant. And, like, it's, oh, it's not even like it gives a slight advantage. It gives an entire advantage. Like, if you, oh, I shouldn't have put that much in. He's definitely dead. If you outspeed... If, if there's two Ehrlichosauruses, Ehrlichdominus, or whatever, and one slightly outspeeds the other, it changes the game completely. Like, you can kill their Ehrlichdominus in one hit, and you're going to force them to go for Cloak. And then you can use that to, like, maybe switch in something that can go through Cloak and hit. You know, like, so, just one boost. One little boost. And it's every day you can buy them. So here we go. Look, a good pack. Woo! Caprisuchus. So a thousand bucks. Two. Sorry, 200 bucks, a thousand DNA. Some food. A Caprisuchus and unlocks it. Does it unlock it? I think it might. No, it does, does it? It does unlock it. And look, it looks nice. It's not weirdly cropped in and stuff. That looks good. They did a great, great thing here. Uh, just with the UI. That's beautiful. I love it. I love it. Oh, and finally, we can start getting towards the Clash of the Titans at 14 days. I don't think that's enough. That's two events every day that you need to do. I guess you could do it. We could do it. We could... Let's do this. Okay, so we need to see Brachiosaurus in action. However, I'd love to see it in the PvP. So we'll do one PvP battle with boosts. And we'll see how that goes. Actually, should we do that now? Let's do it now. Let's do it now. So let's... Here we go. PvP. Uh, ooh, ooh. 
but the chances are I might face up against something that's an, a Cenozoic and then I won't be able to see it in its nice environment. Ah! Oh, it does tell you when you're going. So if I put Indominus, oh yeah, there you go. I'm, I'm, I'm in the final ones. <laughs> so, ah, so what do you need to put in to really get into the final creature or the final thing? What about you? Oh, yep, yeah, Titana Bow is good enough. Brachiosaurus is good enough. There you go. Okay, so we're going to have two Tijongasauruses. Now, 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 now. Ooh, what should we have? What should we have? What does Toxin do? To deal 50% of attack stat to enemy team at end of owner's turn. So all I need to do is stall. That's all I need. So um, what I could do is give Brachiosaurus a ton of health or as much health as I could. Um, I could nullify the other team because nullifying is really good because it just, I mean, whatever that you're facing, it doesn't have. Uh, what does it regenerate? Does it just regenerate to max health? He heal all hurt allied creatures by 25% of their max HP. That would be really good for Tijongasaurus to have. But it's also, I have three of them. Sod it, let's, let's use that. That'd be really, I mean, all we want to do is keep Brachiosaurus alive, right? Um, and if we can increase, if we put, oh my god, if we put another one on Tijongasaurus, that means at the end of every turn, um, the Brachiosaurus gains 50% of its health. I think we should do that. Is that a guaranteed victory? It has to be, right? If I lose and I've used three gold, like, mods, oh my god, okay, let's see, let's see. Oh, oh, this is like, this is gonna be so good. This is gonna be so good. They're so hard to get as well. Oh, for God's sake, it's in the Cenozoic Arena. I want it. Oh, what a waste. That could have been so good. That would have looked so good on the other arena. You had to blow it out, Pocopter Dawn and everything. Oh, he's got Toxin. <gasps> this is okay. This is okay. We're going to block. We're going to block. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. We have to kill him. We have to kill him. He's got two golds as well. However, it does appear that his team is, uh, is what do you call it? Um, kind of average to mine though. Although I don't think it is. That's a really good team. So there's, there's Toxin taking effect. However, oh no, no, oh no. <laughs> I forgot about Tijongasaurus's pathetic health. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I mean, we've lost. We've lost. We've lost, basically. I'm just going to close the game. We've lost. So not only did you did you not see Brachy... Oh, can I click? Why, why can't I click? Can I, can I... Oh, there we go. Not only did you not get to see Brachiosaurus in a good environment, but you I wasted two of the best... Um, <laughs> two of the best boosts. Sod it. Sod it. We're going to do it again. We're going to do it again. However, I can't get those. I can't get those boosts. Like, there's no way for me, apart from if I want to spend bucks. I can't get those boosts. Ah, oh, that's such a shame. I wanted to do it. Ah, oh, because it didn't even average my team. Didn't even average the team. So, okay. Sod it. Sod it. Where's Brachiosaurus? Where is it? We're going to use it. I don't care how much it costs. I need to go for herbivores. Uh, Brachiosaurus. 183. Bam! I'm doing it. And you know what? Sod it. We're gonna, we're gonna pick something that's on a similar level to it. Because it didn't average. It was just like, there you go. You're facing that team. Uh, uh, you know what? Yeah, use those. I, ca I don't have toxin anymore. But what I could do is have um, the nullification... That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have nullify on the Brachiosaur. So no matter what we're facing up against, uh, it's nullified. And then what's Inspire? Uh, increase HP of creature by 75% and attack stat by 40%. So technically, Brachiosaur should be increased by 150% health and 80% attack, which is a crud ton. Okay, here we go. We're not losing this time. Even if Toxin not affecting us because we got Nullify. Okay. He's got Nullify as well, which doesn't matter because Nullify... Oh, and yes! Finally in the good arena! Yes! We're gonna do it! 
So here we go, nullifying takes effect, so whatever. Uh, inspire, so an increase of 370 attack and 2,000 health. And then does it get even more? 370 and 2,000, 3,000 to the health does go up even more. Oh, oh he mirrors. Oh no, oh no, he mirrored the entire team. That's a thing that can happen. Oh God, that's, oh, 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 oh no, no. This is not what I wanted to happen. No, what the hell's going to happen? Ah, he's got 5,000 health and 1,700 attack. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, this isn't good. This isn't good at all. I need to block. I need to block. I think I need to switch into Diplo Suchus. I think I need to. Because he's got two flyers. Um, okay, I'm going to switch into Diplo Suchus. We might have to lose one. We might have to lose one. So, we take his attack down a lot. He does nullify that now, which is a bit of a shame. But I'm going to go for one reserve. If he does switch in a flyer and kills it, I'm okay with that. Because then Brachiosaurus can kill one of the flyers. It doesn't mean I lose 3,000 health, though. 3,000 health is a lot to lose. Oh, it went for an attack? What? Why? Okay, um, this is going to be good because as soon as I kill Pritrodon, so one, two, three, it's dead because it went for two attack. And then I can go for, I might as well go for one reserve, right? I might as well because if I block, he's he's probably still going to kill me in two hits. Yeah, he's definitely going to kill me in two. So I have to go for one reserve. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, that's it. Brachiosaurus has got this now. And we could see it's like six or seven or eight animation. <gasps> oh, yes. We could see two animations. Oh, we're going to see it's run in animation as well. Don't know how it gets into the battle arena. So, yeah, we would have died there either way. So, what's it's coming into the arena? Is it thrown in? Oh, it walks in. It's like Jurassic World Live. They copied and pasted the animation from Jurassic World Live. <laughs> I like how it's to lean down because otherwise it couldn't fit in. So they have to have it like a uh, hunch. Uh, so one kills it uh, and then two block and two reserves and that's it. So let's see it's one attack animation. Oh, so yeah, it's like Jurassic World Alive. It does its kick. I think all they did was just like take the neck joint and then turn it down. Although saying that though, it does do a lot of stomping. I think it has its own animations apart from Jurassic, like from Jurassic World Alive. I think... It's definitely different. Okay. Okay, that's not enough. That's not enough to do... It's like eight animations. So one, two, three, and then three. We have to see. We have to see what it's like massive attack is. It could be a stomp. I'm trying to think. What is it for uh, Jurassic World Alive? What's its really big hit? I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'm assuming it's going to be a stomp. Oh, no, it's the, like, the, the stampy feet. So he's probably going to have stampy feet. Okay. Cop out, stampy feet. Something else is not a cop out. Oh. Oh, it's a stampy feet. Oh, yes. It's, it, they completely copied that. That was 100% the same. And a victory, though. They just did a... <laughs> <laughs> well, did we win any, like, DNA? Oh, we won an air attack. Are you kidding me? Out of everything, I could have won an aero bloody titan. That's probably 1% chance to win that, though. <laughs> I didn't want it. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, we're going to leave it there. We, I mean, there is other things we could do. Ooh, what did we collect? <gasps> we did that. <gasps> and we did a shattering battle. So it's another 20 going towards the Interrupted Gen 2. But we're going to end it there. Otherwise, I will lose my voice completely. And um, I'd rather, rather keep it for the rest of the day because I think I've got to record something else. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. It's, stay sexy. <laughs> That's my new catchphrase. Until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye bye.